tight, guys. The thylacine, or Tasmanian tiger, is a large marsupial carnivore that's believed to have been driven to extinction in 1936. But there have been more than 400 sightings of this shy, elusive animal since. Many people believe it's still out there. Zoologist and marsupial expert Cranky Chris Copeland and wildlife artist and herpetologist Wild Bill Flowers aim to find out. What do you think of Bill? Ah, uh, the whole thylacine thing. We're yep. looking for thylacines. If there's a sustainable population of thylacines out there, yep. why aren't we seeing stacks of them? Oh yeah, in my mind, they're the top order predator. Their camouflage, their stealth would have to be great. So maybe people are just not looking for them. They're blending in that well that they just walk past and not see it. Okay. What do you I think? Well, you're talking about my area now, visual arts. Yep. I'd like to put that to the test. What if I cut out a thylacine out of wood, paint yep. it up, we take it out to different habitats, yep. maybe take a photograph of it cool. in the habitat and see how it does blend in. Okay. In my area, you'd have to make a control and put this all to the test, a okay. blind test even. So what if we take those photographs print them out, maybe five or six of them, keeping it simple, yeah. and then we do some human experiments. Okay. Take a photo, walk up to some guy on the street, okay. and say, excuse me, sir, what can you see? Okay, so we'd, we'd have to pretend we're not part of the thylacine research unit, we're just sort of Absolutely. an environmental study. What yep. can you see? We don't want to lead them on. No, exactly. So, yeah. It's cool. Let's do some experiments on humans. Sweet. Forming the Thylacine Research Unit, or TRU, they set out to investigate sightings and carry out experiments to learn more about the thylacine's natural history. Star, can't leave him alone, can you, Bill? You've given him another lick of paint. A complete makeover, mate. On this side here, really bright colours. Now, that should really stand out from yep. the background. If it doesn't, Damn good camo. Awesome. Now on the other side, slightly more subdued colour. You You've see? given him a salt and pepper beard. Watch it. <laughs> this is a more subdued colour and I'm thinking this might fit into certain habitats. Yep. Different colour, different habitat. Great idea. Great now till we try it. Let's go. Let's go. Don't see that every day. A Sasquatch walking a thylacine. Oi! Don't you kill Terrence? You know he's there, Bill, but I'm struggling to find him in the viewfinder. He blends in that well. Bill? Yeah? Can you just turn that uh, dark morph side over? Show us the light morph? I think it might blend into that background a little bit better. So 
so that means that it is quite possible there could be a lighter morph in the alpine areas. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... If it wants to hide, it will certainly evolve that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, there'd be a lot of selection pressure for the light morph up here. Just, if you're light and you blend in, you hunt more successfully, you pass that gene onto your offspring, it'd be a fairly decent uh, selection pressure to be lighter in colour, for sure. Now, armed with photographs, it's time to hit the streets and approach people with an odd request. I want you to look at these photos, just for about five seconds and describe what you see, okay? Okay. Ready? Here we go. Picture number one. Quickly. Yeah. Forest. Forest, good. Bushes, trees, grass. Bush. Good grass. Bracken, grass, trees. Just lovely. Grassy area on the verge of very dense forest. I don't know, the trees perhaps. Uh, yeah, picture number two. Uh, bushes in a forest. That's more bushes, rocks. More bush. Trees, foliage, rocks, trees again. Very dense um, bushland. I love the foliage in that one. Yeah. Picture number three. Ferns in a forest. So maybe a cave or something there. Trees, moss, ferns. 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 Trees, bark. Oh, beautiful ferns and moss. Looks like a lovely um, rainforest area. Beautiful fernery by the look of it. Okay, picture number four. Uh, trees maybe on a mountain? Trees, rocks. Something's there. Oh, okay. Sky. Trees. Trees and rocks. Trees and some rocks in the sky. Looks like high country. Um, rocky and rather smaller trees, rather wind blown and bare at the top. It is more like a native forest. This picture number five. No. Five. More trees and a few rocks. rather rocky grasses and, and more dense bush further in the background. It's very nice, very attractive. And that one. Oh, it looks like a Tassie devil. A tiger, I should say. Ah, there we go. Mm. Some sort of animal with stripes. Can't tell what it is, can't see the face, but behind the bushes. Pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Do you reckon? Looks like a pig, actually. A tiger? Another flower scene. Trees. Okay. Um, I can see a character in behind there. A Tassie tiger. Is that for real? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Wouldn't it be lovely? Uh, quite nice, but a little bit. Uh, cluttered for me. Cool. There you go. Do you know there's a fallacy in every single photo? Okay. okay. <laughs> Trying to have another long look. Oh, yeah. Great results here, Bill. Amazing. Good data set. Let's top line. One, two, three, zero percent of people. Nobody saw anything. No. Nah. And yeah, if you look, you can find them. For sure. Yeah, it's there. There's this, this one in the button grass. This one doesn't surprise me. Disappears. Yeah. Good camouflage. This one, maybe there was some umming and ahhing. Some people almost got it. They just said cave. They didn't see the fire. Yeah, maybe scene. 15 seconds might have got some positive results. But this was a good one. Yeah, okay. Four, five, six. The bottom line. These are awesome. Oh, I love the Alpine one. Yeah. Our white morph, 14% uh, of people picked a figure but there was no positive ID still. They couldn't say what the animal was no. and to me stripes, yeah. thylacine. Yeah obviously not but okay. number five, were you <laughs> expecting this? It surprised this me. This blew me out of the water, came completely from left field. To me that's a thylacine. Absolutely but 43% of our sample said fox. <laughs> what, what, was, what was going on? 
I think people, if they're not expecting to see something like they believe the thylacine doesn't exist, it's not out there, a mythical yep. creature, their mind will fill in the gaps of something for that sure, is real. Sure. So now they've replaced that image with Fox. Yeah. I wouldn't rule out the media influence. For okay. years there's been sort of speculation of Fox on, in Taz. It's a government program. It's on TV all the time. Maybe it's just putting it right at the forefront of people's mind. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. Number six. Wow. <laughs> okay. <To> me, <laughs> Where thought, do we start? I thought there was going to be a hundred percent positive on this. To no. me, that's glaringly obvious. It's a Tasmanian tiger. Fourteen percent said nothing, nada. They <laughs> couldn't even pick a figure. That's good camouflage. Isn't <laughs> yeah. Fifty-seven percent agreed with you, though, Bill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, they have to. Yeah. They positively ID'd that. I thought it'd be hundred percent. Yeah. 28%. This is probably the interesting one where... Well, some people said pigs, some people said cats, some yeah. people said feral cats, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's science. I think this experiment has worked really well. I think we've proved that the camouflage works in a range of habitats. Yeah, the dry environments we were in this morning, he blended in perfectly. In this dark environment, you could walk next to one and not realise. That's right, it could be one out there right now. Wouldn't we it? wouldn't even know, would we? Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know.